So this right here is a very common receptacle called the NEMA 1450. It has two hots, a neutral, and a ground. And it's rated for 50 amps. And currently with people buying electric vehicles, they wire these up to charge their car. When they go to the store, they see a $10 one and they see a $50 one. And a lot of times they say, hey, I'm just gonna buy the $10 one. It's rated for 50 amps, right? It's UL listed, right? But guess what? This thing is a danger. I think it's more of a danger than the actual electric vehicle itself because these things can catch on fire. If you're ever bored, type into Google NEMA 1450 fire and you'll find hundreds of photos of these things melted. And when I saw the pictures, I thought, hey, maybe that's an installation error. Maybe they didn't torque it to the proper spec because that is very common. Or they're using the wrong size conductor or something. But then I had it happen to me and I wasn't even pulling 50 amps. I was pulling 30 amps with the mobile connector from Tesla. And luckily on that type of charger, there's a temperature sensor on the plug. And every time I plugged it into my receptacle, I was getting an over temperature and it would shut down. And I was like, what the heck is going on? This thing is rated for 50 amps. How can it not handle 30 amps? So first thing I did is I took it apart and I torqued it to the proper spec. Also, I was using the proper gauge wire. And then I inspected everything. I put it back together and I tested it out. And guess what? I still got over temperature. So I had to lower it to 25 amps for it not to overheat. So I went online and a lot of other people are having this issue. And these are so easy to find. Lots of people are installing them. Now something that scares me is there's other EV chargers on the market that can pull 40 or even 50 amps. And a lot of people will plug them into this receptacle. And in the instructions, it does not advise that. It says that it has to be hardwired if you're gonna pull 50 amps, but people still do it. For example, with the Imperia, you can buy it with a plug. You have to program it and set it to 40 amps, and you have to use the proper type of receptacle. And this thing will overheat with 30 amps. So you're just asking for a fire. So let's talk about a solution. Now, unfortunately, this one is very expensive. It's $50, and this one's only $10, but this one will not burn down your house. And you'll notice that it says EV. That means it can do continuous, 40 amps. Now, even if you use the proper type of receptacle, you do not want to exceed 40 amps continuous. These might be able to handle 50 amps for a short time, but for EVs, you cannot exceed 40 amps. Even though it says 50 amps on the front, and this is a higher quality one, you still do not want to do that. Next, the terminals on the back need to be torqued to the proper spec. And this is very important and it's hard to do right. And you need the proper tool to do it. This is a Torx screwdriver. And for these screws, it's 30 inch pounds. That's a lot. You'll be surprised at how much pressure it takes to get to that torque spec. Next, if you're using this for EV charging, it needs a four gauge conductor. And do not use SO cord because it's bundled. It's harder for it to dissipate heat. Use THHN or individual wires. Also on the front, it shows you how much you need to strip off so that the wire can fit perfectly inside of the terminal. Now, if you do all of that, you'll be fine. These are very safe to use if you use the right one and you install it properly. But please, oh please, do not use these. They're $10, a lot of people use them. If you've seen an electrician installing this, tell him to stop. And personally, after having mine overheat, I'm never gonna install these again. I swapped out all of mine. Also, if it's mounted outside, you want a weatherproof box. Now, this one works well and it's made by Leader, but it has screw terminals with the Phillips and I really don't like that. My favorite one on the market right now is the Hubble. It's $54 but it's really easy to torque it to the proper spec and I think it's the highest rated one. It's fantastic. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope this saves somebody's house because man this thing scares the heck out of me and I see it all the time. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.